This is the scamp computer. This is the storage card. The lights won't work because the thing that this wire is supposed to connect to is broken off. I still need to fix that. Let's see if I can plug this in one handed. No, is the answer. Okay. So, from the serial card, we have these wires leading to this, which is the VGA serial terminal from the RC2014. Um, I've also got a power supply down here, and a keyboard and screen plugged into the serial terminal. I'll just plug it in, and the serial terminal beeps, and then just in here, I've got a reset button, and it's booting up. Cool. So, it's kind of a Unix-like environment, although it's only single tasking. It's pretty slow, but it's getting faster all the time. It's still running at one megahertz. And I thought we'd try and write hello world. Um, so if you look at the program counter, you can kind of see it, um, well you can't on the video, but you can see the lights flicker slightly every time I press a button, every time I press a key. The top two lights are the upper bits of the address. So the kernel is at the top of memory, so when the top two lights are on, you know you're in the kernel. Um, the text editor, which I'm about to start, is an interesting program because it doesn't use the kernel for the keyboard, in, keyboard I have. So I can type and it never touches the kernel. The reason for this is that um, the kernel's too slow, really. Okay, so I'll just write little hello world program with one hand if you know C this might look a little bit familiar um, this is my own programming language slang and the reason for the extra argument after the format string to printf is that slang doesn't really support var args. So if you wanted to print a number, you could do hello world percent %d and then put the number in a list. But we don't actually need a list of arguments to format, so we just put zero. The empty list would also be acceptable. Okay. Save that, exit, and then compile it using the compiler. It's busy working. You can see a lot of time is spent in the kernel because it's mainly I.O. bound. Oh, that's another thing I need to fix. The TX and RX lights um, are lit when nothing's going on. So I just need to invert those really. Compile is still going. And we're done. So we can see that our directory contains the source code we wrote and the program we compiled. We can run it. Hello world, indeed. Um, 
Great. Thanks for watching.